What is going on, amazing, beautiful people? Your boy, Jeffrey Gamer, is back at you with another LSPDFR tutorial. And of course, this is a follow-up video on the revert video. As you all know, every time GTA updates, it breaks our LSPDFR. So we usually do a revert video showing you how to go back to the previous version of GTA and being able to play LSPDFR. Well, Script Hook V, Rage, Plugin Hook, and LSPDFR have all been updated. The trifectas have been updated. So we usually do a video showing you how to bring your game to the updated version and reinstalling those three mods to get you back up and running on LSPDFR on the current 3028 GTA build. So first thing we want to do is we want to um, bring up our main directory. So to do that, folks, and this is for Steam users, Epic users, go check out Criminal Justice epic users go check out criminal justice i do not own an epic version i don't know how to do it for epic i'm not going to sit here and pretend i know how to do it for epic and then have you all break your games and then yell at me in the comment section i do not own it for epic i don't know how to do it for epic so go check out criminal justice this is for steam users so steam users you're going to go to your disk drive that your steam games are installed through program files x86 steam steam apps and common your gta folder is going to be right there go ahead and double click it uh mine is right here so if i double click this one now if i scroll down you're going to see that i was playing on a reverted 2944 version of grand theft auto well now that everything's updated we need to make this we need to turn this into the 3028 keep your main directory up next thing you want to do is go to steam all right and you're going to go to your grand theft auto folder right here in your menu, right click it, go to manage, I'm sorry, properties, uh, installed files, and then you're gonna go right here to verify integrity of game files. Click that. Folks, this takes about five minutes, so we'll see you back here in just a few minutes. All right, folks, so once your files have validated, it might say one, it might say four, it might say 12 different people, uh, have different numbers. I don't know why it just happens that way. So we can exit out of this We can exit out of Steam now if we bring our main directory back up hit the refresh button and now scroll down To the GTA 5 exe you can now see we're on 3028 But if I go and launch my rage, obviously the game is gonna crash because um, And I'll show you uh, because if I launch my rage we do not have the the rage version that is supported okay so let's do that first thing you want to do is click the link down below that says lspdfr it will bring you to this page right here now folks the rage plugin hook is included in the lspdfr download so go ahead and click download this file and you're you know you got all the license the license user agreement and all that click agree and download and then we want the manual okay make sure you get the manual so click download on that and let it do its thing while it's doing that while it's downloaded go ahead and click the next link that says script hook v as you see right here script hook v is now compatible with the 3028 which your gta version now is because we reverted um there's lspdfr we will uh just set that back there and right here, you're just gonna click download right there, and this downloads really quick, and there it is. Uh, now, folks, that's all we're gonna need for right now, but please keep an eye out for the Rage Native UI, scripthookv.net, game config, as those should start updating uh, to the 3028 GTA build, possibly. Uh, it depends on if the 3028 build affects other mods, which I don't think it will, so we should be good on that. Um, so. Let's minimize that. Now let's get started. First thing, let's go ahead and put in the script hook V. Uh, you're gonna open up the script hook V WinRAR and you're going to double click the bin. And we've got two files in here that we need. The script hook V.dll and the dinput 8.dll. And you're simply gonna left click those, drag them right here to this buffer zone and drop them in. It's gonna ask you to replace, go ahead and replace and there you go all right and exit out of that all we have left is to install the lspdfr but folks i have a tip for you right here do not follow these steps this is merely just information right here if i double click my lspdfr folder 
you will see two files in here called keys and the LSPDFR INI. If you double click that keys, well, if I double click it, you're gonna see these are all of my key binds for the LSPDFR. Uh, the traffic stop interact, the traffic stop start, um, stop uh, pads to frisk, start vehicle, all this stuff right here, pursuit menu, all of this that I have meticulously gone through and um, changed to my liking. I do not want to overwrite these two files. By any means, I don't want to overwrite these two files. LSPDFR was only updated. It wasn't, it didn't add anything new to where we would have to replace these keys in LSPDFR file. Long story short, if you are installing LSPDFR for the first time, you're going to skip this next step. Okay. If you already have LSPDFR installed and you've changed your keys in LSPDFR INI, you want to do this step. Believe me. There's two ways we could do this. A, we could either highlight the keys in the LSPDFR files, left click, drag them to the desktop, and make sure it says copy to desktop. If it says move, don't do it. Okay. Make sure it says copy. If it says copy, go ahead and drop them there. Simple as that. Okay. Now we have these backed up. Or the way I like to do it, I'm going to delete these. So right now, these are mine, the ones that I want to keep. I'm going to go back to the main directory front page. Here's my mods folder, plugins folder, ELS, all that right here. Over here in the WinRAR, the LSPDFR WinRAR, I am going to double click this LSPDFR folder and I am going to hold con control and select the keys INI, LSPDFR INI. Once those are both selected, I'm simply going to right click and delete. It's gonna ask me if I'm sure, yes, deleted. All right, now we can go back in the WinRAR, okay? And let's go ahead and select everything except licenses. And then you can go down here to Rage Plugin Hook Readme text and get rid of that. Now this right here is the Rage Plugin Hook EXE. This is Rage Plugin Hook. Rage Plugin Hook no longer has a website. All right, so once you have all these files selected right here, left click, drag to right here and drop those in okay this takes a few seconds it's going to ask you if you want to overwrite anything just go right ahead and click uh yes and replace and let it do its thing and we can go ahead and exit out of this winrar so now what we did is we just we just up, updated our lspdfr but we did not update these two files right there the keys in the lspdfr ini okay and while we're right here in your main directory double click the lspdfr folder and go to this lspdfr configurator okay just like so and we are going to click next and show license it's going to bring up rage just like so and you're going to read all this stuff right here and click accept and boom and then click do it for me once you do that, boom, LSPDFR has been installed successfully. Click OK. And it won't get out of there. OK, so this LSPDFR configurator has got stuck there. That's probably on my end. Uh, we won't worry about that right now. It's not going to affect anything. Um, so now what you need to do is down here, this rage right here is for the older rage. This is the older rage shortcut, the 2944. What you're going to do is you're going to remove that, okay? Remove that shortcut if you have it or on your desktop. And, and it opened it for some reason, which we did not want to do yet. Let's, we didn't want to do that yet. Oh, unpin. I clicked the wrong button, y'all. All right, so we unpinned it. Now, in your INI, that is, that dang thing is really bothering me. So I'm going to end task on it. Not really sure why it got stuck there. There we go. Okay, so um, now we're going to go back in our main directory to the front page. Now that we unpinned uh, the rage from the taskbar, we're going to scroll down 
to the new Rage plugin hook right there. Right click, send to desktop, create shortcut. And there it is right there, folks. Now we can drag this on down and drop that into our taskbar. And then we can go ahead and delete it from right there. Okay. So that is it. We have now updated our game to the 3028 version of GTA. We have now updated to the compatible LSPDFR Rage Plugin Hook Script Hook V. Okay, so we can exit out of our main directory. And now when you go to launch your Rage, you're gonna launch it by holding the shift key. All right, hold in that shift key. And you wanna change this to 60,000. Make sure all of your plugins, oh, we gotta get license plate, sticky wheels. Gotta get all of your, uh, you know, plugins selected. And you can select uncheck, check all, uh, load all plugins, and then save and launch. Uh, now folks, one thing I like to do is I like to just run it straight through. No cuts, no edits. If it crashes, we figure out why. Um, but I like to do this so I can show you all that at the beginning of this video, we tried launching Rage on the, just click play on Steam. We tried launching the 3028 and it didn't work because Rage was not compatible. Then we installed the new Rage, LSPDFR, script took V. And here we are now launching it again through Rage. And now I like to sit here and show you all that I am fully going to, uh, load in to the game um, now I had somebody leave a comment on one of my script took V uh, one of my script took V uh, folders there we go it is launching through um, somebody on one of my one of my script took V videos says that uh, it was a bad and unhelpful video. Nice bots here, though. Uh, I'll kind of keep the person's name out, but you could see the comment right there. And I just thought it was pretty funny. Um, no bots. Never had no bots in in my in my uh, channel comments. None of that. You know, every subscriber we've got, we have earned the hard way. Um, I, I don't have any, you know, respect for those that purchase bots. I think that's just, uh, or purchasing subscribers, so to, so to speak, I guess. Uh, um, we like to do everything here. The, the, we like to grind here to, you know, respectfully earn everybody's subscription. And I'm only talking right now so that I can show you that we're going to go through this load up. There's no cuts. There's no edits from the time. We, uh, from the time we, actually from the very beginning of this video, except for when we had to ver verify our game files, um, I only did a cut there so y'all didn't have to sit there and watch it validate all of my game files because um, it takes five to 10 minutes. So you can see it's loading in all the plugins right there. I usually like to disable this, uh, this custom plugin load in menu that it's shown in the middle of the screen. I like to delete that or not delete it, but remove it, which you can do in the Rage settings. And the game should load any moment now. No infinite loading screen. Shouldn't get the infinite loading screen. There we go. And once we are loaded in, we are going to force duty to show you that it works. So, drum roll, please. The anticipation. Here we go. And we are in the game. So now if I hit F4, force duty, hit enter. It is going to bring us on duty and load in all it. This is my tutorial file. So there's no graphic mods in this game. Some of these call outs in that may be uh, out of date, but you know, still showing you that we are loading in uh, see immersive ambient events update available um, but we loaded in we are now on duty um, no crashes no nothing folks 
that is going to be it for this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If it was and you're new here and you're not yet subscribed, please consider supporting the channel by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you know when new helpful videos are available um, or are up. Um, and please consider giving the video a thumbs up. The more thumbs up this video gets, the more people it can reach and teach as it hopefully did with you. Until next time, everybody, be safe, be healthy, be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is out. We'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all.